Hello and welcome back to Making Home Better. A little over a year ago now, we built this pergola behind me and it has been one of the videos that has performed the best on this channel. If you have not checked out the build video, I'll leave a link to it in the description as well as put a card up here. At the time, I was hoping that we can pre-finish all the boards before we actually put this together to make life easier. But unfortunately, I wasn't confident that the wood was fully dry. So we decided to wait a year before we do the finishing. Well, it's been a year, now it's time to get that done. So that's what we're gonna go over in today's video. <laughs> pergola still looks really good uh, it's starting to turn a slight gray which is what cedar tends to do uh, in outdoors some people like that i prefer the natural cedar look a little bit more so we're gonna pressure wash sand and seal so that we're able to extend the life of this pergola even longer as always i will leave affiliate links to all the products that i use in this video down in the description so feel free to check that out all right the area is cleared it's time to start with the pressure washing. Now my intention here is not to go a really, really deep cleaning here, but just to get the surface du dust off. There's a little bit of black spots here and there. Uh, kind of clean that up and uh, just do a light uh, pressure washing to get it prepped for sanding. Since we're going for a quick clean, I'll just use the 40 degree tip for the pressure washer. <laughs> dry and it's time to get to sanding. I certainly thought this was going to be really quick sand, but uh, with 60 grit, it's taking quite a bit of time to get that silver off of the uh, off of the cedar. I'm not sure if this was appropriate or not, but I prefer the natural cedar color, cedar color over the the gray patina. Uh, so I'm gonna spend the time and take this off. So 60 grit and a lot of effort seems to be working just fine. All right, it's weekend number two. The sanding is complete. I'm gonna use a blower to blow out all the dust and we should be ready to go for the sealer. Looked into a lot of different products to use to seal the pergola. The one that I finally ended up choosing was the Ready Seal. So this is the Ready Seal exterior wood stain uh, in a natural tone. This is actually a sealer and a stain in one. I kind of didn't want a stain. I just wanted to keep the natural look. I'm hoping the natural uh, version here gives that effect. This has a lot of good reviews and apparently it's uh, pretty easy to use in that uh, you can put it on and put a recoat it within the first hour. It also apparently prevents uh, any runs. We'll see if that's uh, that's the case or not. Uh, and even if it rains within like an hour or two after, uh, it's good to go. So overall it looked very user friendly and decided to go with this. Ready Seal is a penetrating oil, so uh, so I'm going to take a little extra precaution and cover the patio as much as possible. The patio is sealed, but I don't want to take any chance of having some stains off of the sealer on the patio, so I'm going to try to cover up as much as possible. The instructions for Ready Seal stay stir well, and it also says to Keep the oil upside down for a little bit. I did test this on a piece of piece of leftover wood from last year yesterday just to make sure I was okay with the color. It makes the wood a little bit darker. It looks like a good shade.
you can see, the work is done. The pergola is totally sealed and ready to go. Although the company recommends that we put two coats of sealer on everywhere, it was very difficult to do this process. Therefore, on the top areas, all the way on top of it, I only put one coat and all the visible areas, I put two coats. Having gone through the process, I have some tips for anyone that's gonna take on this challenge. By far, the best thing to do would be to seal the wood before you even assemble or put together the pergola. Um, I did not do this because I was not sure if the pergola was fully dry. But the thing to do would be to maybe order your wood one season early, let it dry, seal it on the ground, and then assemble it. Because staining and sealing this was, in my opinion, harder than doing the build itself. So option number one, seal it before you even do the build. Option number two, uh, do as much covering as possible and spray the finish on because it was so difficult to brush and roll this uh, throughout all the little crevices that it had. So definitely spraying would be easier. I was just afraid that it was gonna get all over the patio and I didn't wanna do that. But even if you have to do a lot of effort to fully cover the patio, I think that's still a better and much faster option than uh, doing what I did. So I would recommend you doing that. So by no means this is a hard project, but it's something that takes some effort. Uh, it took me probably two full days, two and a half days to do this whole work. It's not very expensive, just take some elbow grease to do it. So uh, if that's up your alley, if that's something that you need to get done, I, it's something that anyone can certainly tackle on their own. Well, the pergola is now done. It should be good for three to four years, and then we'll see how to refinish it after that point. As I mentioned, I'll leave uh, links to everything in the description so that you can do uh, your own project. Uh, if you haven't checked out the build video, do check that out. I'll leave a link to that in the description as well. Uh, I also request that you subscribe if you enjoyed this type of video. Until next time, uh, thank you for watching.